Kiwi Bay. This is a place a lot of us people live in Nelson or Motawaika or Tasman or Wakefield or Brightwater come to go fishing. There's a few very lucky people that have batches around here. Cruising out onto the water The wild sea, the captain of me Just at the junkie jig then Look at that mm. We'll get this noise off yeah, well, the the, uh -oh. the rod's a parabolic rod, so it, it it looks a lot bigger than it is, but this actually isn't a bad fish, I think. No, yeah. yeah, no, it's good. I'm pretty new at the slow jigging, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I've got to be so careful I don't snap my rod like I did last time. I'd high stick it too much. Yeah, That's not a bad fish. It'd be interesting to see what it is, because mm. the junky jig's not bait. It's like it represents uh, like a fish, so this will be a, a predator fish. It's coming in pretty fast, though, so I don't think it's very big. But it's just exciting. Oh, yeah. And you're done, idea. No. It's not playing like a snapper, but it's coming up pretty quick. You wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's coming pretty slow, though, mate. Yeah. This one's got a bit of fight, though, hasn't it? Let's get a wee bit. Oh, I love the old Taika Bora. So I'm using a Maxwell reel, which is a beautiful winch. So easy to pull up. Got any colour yet? And this Taika Bora from Jigstar is just a beautiful rod. See, it's got the twisted eyes. And you should get to run around a bit. What have we got here? What have we got? We got a bit of colour. Yeah, it's, it's a barracuda, is it? Oh, you're not, are you? Oh, you bastard. Oh, bloody old wormy barracuda. Oh, mate. Got us all excited. Oh, well. You know, they export these to South Africa as schnook. I tell you, somebody on the boat who won't eat one of those, that's the bloke with a gaff right now. Yeah. Jig just hooked into something again. What have we got? Oh, that might be a bit heavier than the last one. Yeah. It's playing differently too, isn't it? What are we hooking to there? Bigger yeah, bigger barracuda probably is. <laughs> oh, we'll see how we get on. Nah, it's coming up pretty quick actually. Nah, it's coming up, yeah, coming up pretty quick. Unless it's swimming up. Ooh, got a bit of flight. You just never bloody know, do you? You saying it's barracuda, Peter? Yeah, no nodding. No nodding, oh jeez. Pete reckons I've hooked into an old schnook again. Uh, well, he might be right too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we're in cuda country, boys. Yeah. Got a good... Whatever it is, you don't know till you get to the top, you know. It's a bit like going to a bale there, Richard. With, you know, it could be a 30 pound sow. When you arrive there, you just don't know, do you, sometimes? Well, whatever it is, the old junkie jig is definitely doing it. Oh, what, have we got another cooter? Or not? Or we got a... Oh, no, that's a bit short. I think I'm going to have a blue... What is it, a blue cooter or is it a snapper? No, a snapper or oh, it's a snapper. Nice snapper! Yeah! Nice one too! G'day, mate. Got a net for that one? Beauty! Happy days! Go, the junkie jig! Oh, I'm stoked! Yeah! Wicked! That's a nice one. Bloody fatty too. And look at that, the captain's already onto it. I'm just sitting back here doing doing nothing. The captain's picking it up and he's sorting it all out for us. It is my birthday after all. Oh, happy birthday, Clay. Look at your fish. Happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Thanks, uh, Mark Rudolph, for that. And also Chris Wong for the rod. We did it. Anybody else caught a snapper yet? Anybody? Oh no, no, no one's caught a snapper. Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, you, a are you a good <laughs> swimmer? <laughs> You're the careful of this boat. Oh, you hooked up on your husband's line. Yep. And, and you got a fucking shark. Hey, is that a grey boy? Oh, sorry, mate. Did you want that deep? Nah, we'll catch more fish, eh? So. Yeah, they're good eating fish, but we'll catch more, won't yep. we? I'd say so. Yeah, get a good bag. Richard's just shifted the boat. We've seen a few petrels on the top of the water, so that's why we stopped here. Because often, if you see those little petrels, they're feeding for fish that have been driven up by bigger fish like kawai or even kingfish or barracuda. Not that we want to catch any barracuda, do we, Dwayne? No, we don't. Not a big fish, but we'll take it. Not a big fish at all, coming in very fast. It's amazing the small fish you catch on these junky jigs, eh? They're like the tiny wee ones, and consider the size of the actual jig itself. Yeah, it feels like a little blue cod to me, that. Not big at all. 
We've got some uh, fish in the water on the finder that are sort of halfway between, so maybe one of them grabs it on the way up. That'd be fun. Just a small fish coming up very fast. Tiny fish. Perfect size fish for a big old kingfish to grab for breakfast. Oh, it's tiny little bloody gurnard. And it's not even a legal size gurnard. Look at that. It's, it's a carrot. Yeah. Gurnard. Probably New Zealand's most popular fish overall for eating, actually. People say snapper, but I think more people like gurnard. Anyway, mate, you go back for another day. See ya. Oh, lovely. Good luck getting to the bottom without a kingfish coming along and making your day a bit of an upset. Peter was going for his nut bar and suddenly, boom, he got hit. That was funny because you were holding fish, your... Fish is more important at this time. Well, it is, mate. What do you reckon that is? Uh, blue cod. Blue cod? Oh, keep that. It's quite a bit of weight in that. That could be a good fish, mate. Yeah, it's good fish. Good fish, yeah. Oh, I'm on. I'm on too. We've got doubles. Yep. Cool. Yeah, beauty. You got us in the right place, Captain, anyway. Not a big fish in my one, but doubles are good. Oh, you got a bloody shark. Oh, jeez, mate. It's another gr another uh, grey, grey boy. It's one thing about bait, you catch the bloody sharks, don't you? That's what I, what I do like about the old jigs, is you don't you catch the shark. But this is a, I reckon this is a gurnard. Well, I haven't seen any colour yet, but oh, here we go, a bit of colour now. Oh, it's another wee bloody gurnard. Good size gurnard, isn't it? Well, we, I think we can keep that one, can't we, Captain? Measure it. Measure it up. Yeah, I've got my thing on there. Its eyes are popping out of its head. I'd like to say thank you to Mark Rudolph for sending me those junky jigs. That's the second gurnard I caught this morning. I released the first one. And I've caught a decent snapper. Thanks, mate. They're bloody awesome. They really are. Anybody else caught a snapper yet? No. Oh, no one's got a snapper still. No. Ah! <laughs> I knew that was coming. And this feels a bit bigger than the last one. Not a lot bigger, but a little bit bigger. I'm guessing it's another carrot. Oh, it's coming up pretty fast. Jeez, I reckon by the end of this trip, everybody's going to want to buy a junkie jig. Because they're just coming in. It's, uh, I must get, everyone must get sick of me talking about them. But fuck, they're good. Yeah, it's coming up again. What have we got, another carrot? Oh, it's another bloody carrot, and it's a bloody good one too. That's a bit bigger. Oh, no, it's a bit, no, it's not actually. It's about the same as the last one. Or well, it might even be smaller. It's a tucker. It's a legal fish. So I, I got hit on the way up, snapped my junky jig, and then it hit you, Diane. Yeah. You got cut off too? Yep. Oh, he's made a hell of a mess. Where's my junky jig, you bastard? He's taken it. It's gone. He chopped it right off. You just can't keep away from your wife, mate. You're always hooking up on her. <laughs> Can't leave each other alone. No. It's coming up. Oh yeah, big, big grey shark. Oh, he's just, oh, he's gone there. It's one way to release him. Captain's put us in a different place now. There's a few wee bites starting to happen. We're over a big rock. And some on the finder. Most people got bait. I think Peter's using a jig, are you, Peter? Yep. Yeah. So Peter and I are doing slow jigs, and the woman. Oh, you on, are you? You're on? You're on? Have I got someone else? No, there's something on it. There's one of them. Oh, you're doing that on purpose. Not us. Well, no, no one's got you. No, no, you got a good big buddy. What do you call a big shark or something? Oh. Holy shit, I might get my line out of the water. You've got a bit of a nod going on. Yeah. Well, how many cooters you caught today? Me. Oh, it's, it's a, uh, what do you got? Two, it's an eel, is it? Is that an eel? Oh. Big bloody eel? It is too, big conger eel. Oh no! Yeah, it's a great big bloody conger eel. Oh yeah. You got it? You got it? You got it? Cruising out onto the water The wild see the captain of me Jeez, mate, you're biting off more than you can chew there.
little banded wrasse. A wee bit too small to keep that one. Hey, a little bit bigger than the last one. Quieten it down a bit. What have we got there? Coming up very, very solid. I'm using a Falcor again. Could be a car wire, it hasn't started to run yet. Dion's on beside me as well. Coming up. Oh, looks like a nice cod. Yeah, we'll keep that. It's legal. Yep, looks like a legal size. And that's that's definitely a legal size. 33 is a legal size here, isn't it? Well, thanks, Peter. Just watch those bloody hooks, Peter. They're chemically sharpened, and they there's a towel there, mate. Might be easier for you. Oh, you got the bottom one out. Well done. Oh, the man's he's got it all under control. Legend. Just just check it, make sure it's 33, but I'm pretty sure it's over that. 36. 36, nice one. First blue card on the junkie today. Doubles going. It's a competition. Man versus woman fishing. Who's got the biggest fish? Oh you damn well beat me, god damn it. She beat me. Oh it was woman power after all. Oh no, you've done it again. You beat me again. This is not good. Daisy, you got another one, you got two. Two, one Cheese girl. Hey, mate. One to go. Oh, he's a bit of a nod. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's a massive fish, but he's a... It's a cod, all right, yeah. He might be close. He's a legal fish, but I don't think he's going to be the 36 I wanted to catch. No, he's not. So the legal limit here where we're fishing is you're allowed to keep two fish each, and the size is 33. And I've only caught one so far. This, if it's going to be over 36, I'm going to keep it because I want to have two big fish, but I don't think it's going to be that big. About 35, is it, Peter? Just under 36. Just under 36. Get a, get a stick to the plan. Good work. Yep. Give everybody a chance to get you a good one. Is this a fighter? I don't know if we're going to quite get to the size I was after. Jeez, a lovely fish. Just going to check it, but I'm pretty sure. Just, just check that, Peter, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be 35, I'm guessing. 35, you're guessing right. There we go, that's him, he's on. That's not bad, that's not bad. That's not bad, we'll turn that noise off. Yeah, not big fish, but he took it and he's hooked. Hopefully it's not a blue cod, because I've caught my limit. Hopefully it's something like a gurnard, or a little brim would be nice. It's coming up solid. We're in 20 metres of water, it's a, it's a, um, Nice fat gurnard. Well, the legal size is 25, and that's probably about a 30, I suppose. It's a carrot. I love these fish. It's a nice fat carrot. Just going to measure this guy. He's a 32. That's a good size carrot. That there's a bit bigger than the last one, even I reckon. Feels like another gurnard. It's playing like a gurnard. Oh no, maybe not as big, it's coming up pretty fast now, it just hit it pretty hard. So I'm using a Falcor, and I've caught another Gurner, it's not a baddie either. No. You know, that'd be a keeper. 25 is the limit, that's probably, I'd say 30 on 30, maybe 32. Richard's already onto the bloody, onto it. It's like a well-oiled machine here. That's the fourth Gurner I've caught on this uh, jig today. It's a bloody cracker. 30, Richard? 32. 32. Happy days. It's a nice eating. If any of you guys want to buy a junkie jig, just go online on Facebook and search it. They are brilliant lures. I have gone out many times with many people that are better fishermen than me, and I'm not a good fisherman, and I've caught species that other people haven't caught regularly 
just by using the jig. The jig almost fishes by itself, but you do need a decent rod. I'm using a Taika Bora with a Maxil reel. And this Taika Bora is sort of like those twisted, um, twisted eyes, the braid. It just, it's really good fishing. And the other thing is you're not fucking around with bait. So I haven't used bait all day today, and I've caught snapper, and I've caught blue cod, and I've caught nice gurnard, carrots as we call them. That's my dream truck right there, folks. It's a Toyota 70 Series Land Cruiser, a troop carrier, 11 seater. Think of how many boys you get one of those. That was our day fishing. I'd like to thank my mate Richard Weir for taking me out in his boat and also for Peter helping deal with lines and the ladies pitching in. It was a, a real joint effort fishing mission. It was bloody awesome. Just thinking about it and the luxury that we have here in New Zealand of being able to go out and do that and actually source our own food. A lot of people don't have that luxury, so I'm very grateful. Welcome aboard my houseboat folks, this is the flat bottom floozy, this is my backyard. I've just watered all the plants and taken some inside, they're not looking very flash. I don't think these herbs are doing very well. Got both motors running, tide's going out, my son's up the front doing some cleaning. I've just been doing a bit of cleaning, here's our, our galley, place to chill out, so we have our dinner. And down here we've got the stove, which you can see a bit of water's come through. I've taken this down and can't get it, it's still leaking up here. And Jonas, you're still in all the windows right now. You're done, son, are you? Just get a few cobwebs out of the place. Take you down, show you through. This is guest room for guests to stay. It's nice here. You wake up in the morning, you open this window, at this end here, and you've got that for a view, and you've also got native birds singing. It's a beautiful place to wake up. Now, so if you're a patron, let me know, and you've got a place to stay. Got your own toilet, shower, sink. It's pretty, pretty awesome. It's a lot nicer than the old farmhouse as well. That'll change soon. That's the view at my window, which is just awesome. And like I said, you wake up in the morning, you get native birds. I just use a sleeping bag because it's easy to sleep on. And I've also got my own shower here and toilet and place for a shave and brush your teeth in the morning. This is a 12 volt generator. Here's the wheelhouse. This controls the two engines. A while ago she came off a mooring, I was actually on board at the time and it smashed a hole right through the side here and I repaired it myself and today it's it's pretty good. You see out here, that's where it, it got broken, smashed into another boat to the bowsprit of a yacht. My father built this, it used to be called the flat, what well, still is called the flat bottom floozy and he used to take people around here for coffees. Here's the walkway and that's controlled by this handle here which you wind. This was my home during COVID lockdown here in New Zealand, and it's been a good home. It's got a really good kitchen, got everything you need. Over here is where the solar charge batteries are kept in this bank here. Four deep cell six valve batteries. And to get to your engines, you lift this up, you can check them from there. Currently they're running, because I run them every week, just to keep things going and keep batteries charged. On the top, we've got solar panels up on the roof, which you may or may not better see from there. That's a houseboat. Hope you enjoyed the little walk around it. Oh, then my rod's upside down. I'm using the wrong bait, catching the wrong fish in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, going out with squid and catching sharks and stingrays at night instead of using crabs or shrimp. Oh, my trout rod's always set up wrong. I've high sticked rods more than once and snapped them. Oh, and pretty much 
not the best fisherman around that you'll meet, which is surprising because I have a YouTube channel that has quite a lot of fishing on it, but that's just the nature of who I am. I'm not particularly good at a lot of things like that, but I love doing it. And because I'm not particularly good at it, and I mean, let's face it, if you watch my channel, you'll know. The other day I took out young Bungy Hetty Hetty, and he just like smashed a kingfish where I go every day, and I never smash kingfish out there. The only kingfish I ever smashed out there was one that I got hooked up on by mistake, and that was an absolute catastrophe. Shouldn't have got it in the boat, it was just an unlucky fish. But I just don't. And when people go out fishing with me, they often find, geez, what the hell's Clay doing? And I'm learning from them. But there are a couple of wee things that you can even learn from me, and one of them is gear that will help you get fish. Now this is proven, because I go out regularly with heaps of people, I've always got people come around. The last probably four weeks I would have gone out with at least 20 different people. That's not an exaggeration, and some of them I've even filmed and shown you. Why do I still catch fish where often they don't? I don't always. You can say, oh I'm just lucking out, maybe I am, but hey. Most of the time it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. So what I use is this gear here, I'm going to cover the old head up because it's a wee bit follically challenged up there. The sun is beating down. I love slow jigs. Now I'm old school. Hooks, sinker and stinky bait. The only thing stinky I use these days is burling. That's my favourite one of the lot. That's from Junkie Jigs. I'm just going to focus on this so you can see that. Look at that beautiful falcor, the orange one. Now I think the reason the fish like this is I think, and I'm just making this up as I go along, but I think that the fish think that that there's a gurnard, or carrot as we like to call them. Or maybe they think it's a baby snapper because they're also orange. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but one thing for sure, when I go out with other people using bait, I get smashed every time on this John Dory. Put John Dory out here in Mapua. Never ever in the history have I heard of John Dory being caught right here out here in Ruby Bay. And if you've caught one out there, let me know, because I don't know anybody has. John Dory on this. Actually, I caught the John Dory on the Sonic from Slow Jigs. Uh, lots and lots of carrots on this. Gurner just bloody love it. And snapper. Not to mention barracuda. And I, I never caught a kingfish on them, but you can. So, well, I, not so I haven't caught one. I've never landed a kingfish on that. This is the one that I use when I'm fishing sort of later. This one shows up. It's actually fluorescent. It's another falcon, but it's fluorescent. And as you can see, I've got a really thick, like, 100-pound trace. Probably not the right way to set it up. But if something big smashes that, at least you're going to get it in the boat. And for gear, I'm using a parabolic rod from Jigstar. This is a beauty, man. It's got the old twisted eyes. So a lot of you watch me and go, oh, Clay's got his bloody rod upside down again. And you could be excused for thinking that. In the case of this one here, the eyes are actually twisted. So it disperses the weight of the string equally among the rod. And that is a parabolic rod designed to spread it right out and take it in the handle. And I've got this beautiful maxil reel here. This is a lovely little winch, man, and one day I'll even work out how to use it properly, but I do catch fish on that. Now look what else I've got, I've just got this recently, and this will be tomorrow to hopefully smash a kingfish. But don't hold your breath, because kingfish, well, they're, to me they're elusive beasts, they're like the unicorn. I've heard about them, but I've never really seen them, <laughs> only when other people catch them. This is a nice rod from Jigstar as well, but this is the Transformer, and it's just brand new. It's not. I don't even think it's on the shelves yet. Check out your hunting fishing shop and ask them for a transformer maxilla if you're a serious fisherman like catching bigger fish. And if they haven't got them, tell them to pull their finger out of their asses and get it because these are the bee's knees. Right, we're on a mission. So I woke up this morning and I felt like a bucket of hairy assholes. Just one of those mornings. I don't know why. I've been swinging off the chainsaw all day yesterday, so maybe that was it. But just felt like ah. Uh, Ass, didn't feel like doing anything. So got up, made myself a coffee and said, stop being a bitch, Clay. Had some multivitamins, thought that might help me, didn't do much. Walked the dogs, came back, still felt like a little bitch. So then I did what I always do when I feel like a little bitch, and I called up my mate Troy Dando and said, I feel like a little bitch. I've been fishing and I can't catch a kingfish. I've been fishing all week. And he was like, oh, come with me, I'll help you catch a kingfish. Well, fuck me, if you can't catch a kingfish with Troy Dando, you can't catch a kingfish with anybody. He's the uncle of kingfishing here in Nelson when it comes to catching kingfish. This car goes fast, so we'll be at Troy's house before you know it. I'm just going to put my foot down and fly all the way there. Dog tucker on the road. The weather is kind, the sea she is fine. The belly is down, now we just need fish on that line.
This is Nelson Marina, and that's where we launch, right down there. Look at that beautiful boat. Do they make a difference, Captain? Sure do. Yeah, it's official, right? Jeez. Yeah, mate, we're on, we're on, we're on. Holy fuck, that's a lot. Look at this bloody boy over here. Don't want to get tangled on that, fucker. You gonna back up to it? Yeah, getting all the rods in. Just waiting for Troy's getting them in. Finally got hit. Yep. Yo-ho-ho -ho on a bottle of rum. I don't reckon it's that big, eh? Don't think it's that big? Jeez, mate, you're good with your right hand. Yeah, mate. Where'd you get that good with your right hand, eh? Yeah, well, you 
<laughs> hey, he's surfing here, look, he's at the top, look. Yeah. He's come to the top. Right, we're gonna come yep. Get ready to start yeah, Captain. Come this way. Okay. Yep. No, he's not a biggie. He hit it. Woohoo! Still bigger than anything I've had on my line for a long time, that's for sure. So this could be the uh, the first kingy for the transformer. Jeez, man, I wouldn't want to be any bigger. The old arms are already starting to stretch out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Look at him. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Whew. Jeez, you there. It takes a bit of, bit of muscle, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got quite the, uh, the old fucking right hand action. You've got there, Captain. <laughs> there he goes, he's his fin on the top of the water. Oh, this is strange being on the surface like that. Why do you think he's on the surface? I don't know. That's not, it's not like what a normal king would do. Yeah, do you think we fell hooked it? Yeah, maybe. It might, might have fell. Might or is it not a kingy? It looks like a kingy, doesn't it? What else could it be? I don't know. Look like. Could be a big cowboy. No, nah, no, it's not a big cowboy. It's almost like a bloody shark. You don't catch sharks like this, do you? It looks like a bloody. Looks like a thrasher shark, mate. Oh, jeez, the arm's feeling it now. I reckon it's. I reckon it's a shark, mate. Look at that. It's not pulling like a kingy. Kingy nah. just going deep and hard. Yeah, no, it's not like a bloody king, is it? Oof. That could be foul hook though. Yep. Definitely not, not like a king to be on the surface like that. Yeah, right. Come on, Aunt. Come on, Aunt. Real sounds nice and smooth. Yeah, nice. Finally got that bloody ratchet off here. It's almost upside down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's tail hook, I think. Tail hook, oh, bugger. It's not actually fought. It's a baby thrasher shark, yeah. Oh, okay. Righto. It's on the back of his tail, look. Yeah. Bloody baby thrasher shark, eh? Oh, shit. Yep, yeah, it is too. It's, it's cooked right on the end of his tail, look at that. Yeah. Bloody baby thrasher shark. Ooh, Shark. Yeah, beautiful colours on it. Yeah, beautiful colours, yeah. Yeah, nice looking shark. Just a wee one. Make it a lot bigger than this. Yeah. Beautiful colours. Yeah. Well, that one the kingy, Captain. No, it wasn't a kingy. But, uh, it's beautiful colours. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, mate, we're not going to eat you, so you're going back in the sea for another day. Yeah. Big cowboy on. Just gonna get this thing here down so it doesn't get tangled around the other fish. Yeah, it's a big, big cowboy. I don't want to get tangled around that other one there. Yeah, yeah big old cowboy. It's coming in fast. Or is it a barracuda? Shouldn't be a cooter, should it? No. Yes, yeah, cowboy coming in too fast to be a kingy, bro. Tuna. Oh, did I drop it? No, it's going all funny. What's going on there? No, I dropped it. Dropped it, dropped it, fuck! Oh, yeah. Coming in too fast? Was that a little tuna? <laughs> Looked like a little tuna, didn't it? <laughs> it did look a little bit like that. Oh, I dropped it! Oh no! Well, uh, that was a bit disappointing. Dropped it. Looked like a little tuna on there, to be honest. Do you think I was winding too hard in, bro? Uh, nah, no, it was just the way it was. I just wasn't hooked well. It wasn't hooked well. Bag it. Oh well, we're in the right place anyway. No, it's the wee one, not a baggy. Coming up now, there he goes. Oh, it's a barracuda, is it? What's that? Oh, it's a bloody barracuda? barracuda? Yeah. Okay. The old bloody barracuda. Well, you can eat him, you know, but uh, I think we can do better than that, can't we? Yeah, I think we can, mate. Jeez, you're a brave man with your bloody bare hands. See you later, mate. He's good. 
Well, so far we've caught a couple of birds, a shark and a cooter. Not looking fresh for the cookies, is it, mate? Nah, it's not. <laughs> it's not looking good at all. Not without lack of trying. Almost five o'clock and no kingy. Another day, nothing still. That gives me something to look forward to tomorrow. One of my patrons said to me that don't spend all the energy kayaking way out to sea to catch a kingfish clay. Just find a structure in moving water. I thought, well, this old boat here, it's a structure. It's good enough bloody muscles and stuff on the bottom. It's been a while since we cleaned the bum. Why not just park up here, put a burley, and see if we can maybe catch a kingfish off here. Oh, I'm not really expecting to, to be honest, but it'd be a good chance for us to catch something and cook up some lunch. So I'll see where we get on. Beautiful day in Mapua. I'm just going to go down the back here. There's a bit of burley coming off here. We've also got a burley on the front. And the odd fish just starting to come in now. And the idea is that this burley, see some small fish down there, I don't know if you can see that, maybe not. The idea is that that burley is going to trail out as the tide goes out. And hopefully we catch a kawai. This comes up for lunch. And if we get a live bait, we'll stick a live bait on and just live bait out here. Maybe the odd kingfish or even a bigger kawai comes in and snaps that up. I've got a shag over here already getting in on the act here. He knows where all the small fish are. Oh, that's going to make live baiting interesting, isn't it, son? Yeah. Yeah, I want to catch that. You're on the board, son. Second fish. Nice little yellow-eyed mullet. Probably I want to get a little bit bigger for a live bait than that. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we catch. It's the second one you caught, though. Have a good time. How's the old mate in there? Good? Yep. Nice going. Oh, yep. Big enough for a... Not quite big enough for a live bait still. Quite a nice fish to pickle. Hello, mate. How you going? Welcome to the old Clay Tall Stories YouTube channel. You're a celebrity now. What do you think about that, eh? Tell your mates, I made it. I made it to Clay Tall Stories. Just end up fucking dead. Right, eh? We'll take this out of your gob. With great skill. Try not to rip any of your bodily parts off. There we go. Do a live tank. Look at that pace. What do you reckon? Nice fish, eh? There we go. I'm going to keep him underwater while I bait him up so he's not too. Um... I think the nostrils is where you go through, isn't it, son? Let's see. I'll try the nostrils to see how that works. And he's on there now. Right, let's go catch a kingy. We actually want to run with it, don't we? And then we jerk it. Oh, oh I thought that was a fish and it's just him. He's a lively one. He's good. Got our live bait out there. And we're catching a few more here. We might put another one on the other side too. We'll have a couple of live baits just to increase our odds. Probably get all tangled around each other. We'll see how we get on. I've never done this before at the back of the boat, so it's the first. Well, potentially we can catch a kingfish, because what did we just see trying to get my bait, son? A kingfish. A kingfish. It wasn't a big one. Would it have been legal or not? Yeah. Probably about an 80. And I thought it was a bloody shag, and I pulled the, I pulled the bloody fish away from it, which stuffed it up. If I just left it, we might have caught it, you reckon? Maybe. Don't know, but it didn't, it just, they're so smart, eh? Like it was looking at it going, nah, I can see that hook there. That's the first time I've ever seen a kingfish do that, and it was bloody awesome. Snapper? Uh, I don't know. That might be lunch, son. Hey, oh, jeez. What do you reckon? That's quite a good fish. Do I need the gaff, or is it? No. <laughs> just a cow wire, I reckon. Cowboy? Yeah, it's, it's a good cow. It's a snapper. Oh, it's a snapper. Nice oh, snapper. Nice going. Don't snap your rod. You need help with that. That's a keeper too. That's lunch, son. Yeah. Can you get it out? Yeah. Nice going. Uh, oh, burly waterman. I'll come back here. Yeah. You grab the line. Got him. Watch that second hook. Oh, yeah. That'd be legal size, that. Just come off there. My foot. Oh, you're right. Did it get you a spike in the foot? Oh, I did too. You spike. Oh no, you're injured. Holy shit, he got you, little bastard. <laughs> now he's legal size. Just lunch. You know he'd be about uh, 28, 30. Oh, I don't know. Good going. You got to measure it here. Yeah, we'll measure it anyway. You're right. Your toe got pretty, pretty hurt, eh? <laughs> Jeez, little bastard got you right in the toe. Jesus, serious too, son. <laughs> Just to make sure you're legal. 28. Bloody good. Just a friendly wake up. That's a bit of a wake up call. And it's lunch. It would be nice if we caught just one more, but we'll have that with the yellow eyed mullet. And that should be pretty good. 
good dog face. He's a good boy. See a few bites on Yona's rod again. Nice one too. Yeah. Oh, back to the belly. It's been eating all our bloody burly. Look at it. He's been <laughs> chomping on it. Another one. Well, we'll be eating snapper and these guys, I think, son. Something on here, son, on your rod. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, it's a snapper, look. Is it? Yeah, Another snapper. snapper, yeah. Oh, good. I don't know if it's going to be big enough for us. Look. Look at that, son. No, I reckon that's legal. Think it's legal? How's his size? Yeah, it's 26. 26. 26. We'll take him. We'll take him and we'll, we'll batter him up. Good, now we're going to do some feed. Captain Yon has done a good job of this. I'm just drying it now. Here's our two snapper. Italian spices, panko crumbs, gluten free flour, corn flour, a bit of sage, because you know, reckon sage is good with your batter. Never done sage before. Salt, pepper. I like to have a little bit of curry in there, that always makes it nice. I'm going to crack a couple of eggs. I'm out, eggs at home. Chickens. Give it a good old smash around with a fork. Jeez, there's a fair bit of shell there, Clay. You don't want that. You can try the old dip the fish in method and then into the crumbs and see what happens. Jeez, son, did you say some of those eggs could be rotten? I'm not 100% uh, sure about the egg. Oh, that looks dodgy, son. Oh, okay, right. Simon out of poison. So while I'm doing this, we've got the two live baits still out the back. We actually saw a kingfish today, it's amazing, so it is doable. It's doable to catch a kingfish out here. I was just saying to Yoda what I'm going to do in the future, is I'm going to come out here with my laptop, because editing takes up the most time of my work, and I'm going to do my editing, but while I'm editing, I'm going to have two rods out the back with live baits. So during that time, I'm always hopeful that I get the old... <laughs> Butter's a bit bad. Turn the heat down a bit. Not really the desired sound of shh. I was looking for. Number two in there. Or number two soaking. Gonna turn number one over. Great skill with a fork. Oh yeah, not bad. I reckon sound up alright. Smells good. Smack number two in the pan as well. Smells good. Smells good too. You want to cut some lemon up here, just to give it that zing. There you go, son. Let me know how that tastes. Try a bit of paste wagging his tail behind you, think he's going to get some. <laughs> how was it? Good. Right. It's funny, I've had this wooden boat for a while now, and not used it much at all. Today, we actually saw a kingfish right here. Sometimes things that are right under your nose you don't notice and it took one of my patrons to tell me give it a shot so I reckon I will catch one out here eventually. Oh. Mm. Not strictly keto because it's got flour although it's gluten free. Will we do this again? Most people in New Zealand love snapper but I actually prefer car white more. It's all right, but I think Carlo's got better taste myself. Snap of wings and snap of head, good chomping. Gonna put our fish and egg, roll it around like that. Stick it straight in the pan.
knowing they were actually kingfish out there, Ma Pura decided the next day to go out and give another crack. I fished for eight and a half hours, cooked up a feed, had a nice day out there, but in the end, still no kingfish. Shit! Boat. It's not a bad at all. G'day mate! Welcome to Clay Tall Stories. He's even bigger than the last one. So, yeah, goes on the party ice. Well that's good timing, my son just pulled up the truck. The pace, just shit in the boat. That's all that dirty black water there. So he's definitely got the runs. Do you reckon he can swim to you son? Hey son. I'd be glad to get on land. Throw on the back of the truck, son. That dog is not very socialised. Oh no, being on that person's clothes. Oh shit. Oh jeez. No. Oh, Just peed on Jane's bloody. Right, problem solved. Quite a good sized thing, right? Now they're looking at it going, hmm, probably wasn't such a good idea to have a swim there anyway. My son's taken pace home. We got a couple of hours of sunlight left. I've still got two live baits, a piper on one side and a herring on the other, or yellow eyed mullet as I call them. And we've got our tucker, which I've got to tell you. Tell you, cooking with avocado or fish, a really, really good way to do it. Oh man! Oh, first meal of the day. Yeah, that is just superb. That is absolutely superb. Go away. Hey, look guys, thanks a heap for joining us. I've been fishing for four days trying to smash a king. He didn't get one, but it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Good luck with your own fishing, your own hunting, your own gathering, however you're doing it. And to the people that took me out fishing, thanks for your time, guys. Really appreciate you sharing your valuable time with me and teaching me a few things. And hopefully in the next one, we actually do land a kingy. It's fun trying, isn't it? Be good, can't be good, be careful. See you soon. And to try this avocado oil with fish, it's bloody nice. I prefer that.